This is the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today I'm going to go over five Black Friday deals from both Lowe's and Home Depot that I personally endorse. And there's a lot of deals out there, but I can't personally endorse them because I don't know enough about them to endorse them. A lot of these deals I have purchased in the past. Some of these deals I've purchased multiple times on Black Friday in the years past. We're gonna jump right into it. The first one up is from Lowe. It's a uh, $5. Hard to go wrong with $5 and DeWalt. As you can see, you can select between a 14-piece drill bit set or the 27-piece tough grip set. Now, I'm gonna show you, I bought these last year. And it's not the exact one, they, they kind of switch them up, but I want to show you the ones that I have that I purchased last year, Black Friday deal, and I've uh, been very happy with. They may have these out there. They sneak these things in. Purchased both of these last Black Friday, and I think this came in one of them. Or maybe this was a separate one. This one has a whole bunch of Torx bits and Phillips head bits. The next one is going to be hard for me to pass up. I've done the research already and I'm going to have to go buy it. It's the DeWalt 20 volt oscillating multi-tool. I currently use a rigid oscillating multi-tool. It works okay. It's old. Probably four years old. So it's older technology. It's a it's a 12 volt battery. Uh, it doesn't last very long. doesn't have much power. I honestly don't need the charger and the battery. The tool only version, you can find the tool only for right around $95. And that's, that's the best deal I could find for the tool only. So just for a few dollars more, I can get another charger and another battery. Even though this, this ad says that it's 179, marked down from 179, that's not true. It's marked down from 150. You can buy this as you see it on the screen here with the charger, the battery, and there's a couple of little tools that come with it. Buy that all day long for $149. So at $99, I guess it, it really wouldn't hurt to have another battery. I'm going to get this one. I will probably move that rigid tool into the workshop. I'm trying to build out this workshop to have the same amount of tools that I have in my tool trailer. So I'm not constantly going to the tool trailer and bringing them to the workshop and then having to remember to bring them back and forth and not losing them. So I want, want to build up my tool, tool arsenal of the workshop to be the same as what's in the, the tool trailer. Now the next item you've seen me use, I have one very, very similar. This is Lowe's version of the one I have. The one I have I purchased at Home Depot. The reason I'm putting it up here is maybe you don't have a Home Depot near you and you only have a Lowe's. So this aluminum folding bench, 45 inches long, I'd say it's about this tall off the ground, what is that, 20 inches? And it's about 12 inches wide. It's very useful. You've seen me use it in some of my past videos. For you people that like to shop at Home Depot, Home Depot's got a better deal. You got a higher load capacity at the same price. We will get to that in a minute. But if you're not overweight and 250 pounds is good enough for you and Lowe's is closer or you don't want to go to both of them, then I think this is a good deal. And it's a good tool to have. This shelving set here, I used to have one, two, three, four, five sets of this exact shelving from Lowe's. Well, I paid a lot more than $50 for it. I actually sold them all Oh, it was this past summer. I sold all of them because I switched to kitchen cabinets. I, had, I, I remodeled the kitchen and I got to keep all their old kitchen cabinets. That's where all these kitchen cabinets came from. If you go back, way back in time to some of my very first videos, building a man cave workshop out of a shed, you can see me assemble these shelves and you can see how they they worked in my old little workshop, a 7x14 workshop. You can see how they worked here. Uh, I highly endorse them. I put so much weight on them, uh, took them apart, moved them across town, rebuilt them again, took them all down, and then was able to sell them for a decent amount of money on Craigslist. All right, the one you're looking at now, I should have pictures of these up around my head somewhere. Maybe they're covering me completely. Uh, this has been asked about a lot in the last several weeks. I've been using it a lot in the last several weeks in my videos, and that is obviously this step stool. And it's on sale for $15. I think I paid quite a bit more than that. I'm not sure what the original price is, but for $15, I think it's a pretty good deal. Home Depot 
put out their Black Friday ad. And for some reason, they did not put it out in a digital format. I looked high and low all over the internet to find one that looked like Lowe's, but all I have is a scanned, or like an actual picture of the flyer. So I apologize ahead of time for the grainy photos, but that's all that's available. So this combo kit that you're looking at right now, it's pretty extensive. For $500, you can have a full kit. A full kit. Now, DeWalt makes several different lines of tools. So as I was saying, DeWalt has a lot of different lines. Their highest end line is going to be their XR brushless line. Is this one brushless? 20 volt max. I don't think this one is brushless. DeWalt 20 volt max, but it still works great. And I believe this is the same one that is in this kit. I've got a lot of DeWalt tools. Don't be confused though and accidentally buy a combo kit like this expecting the brushless XR. You can even get them that say XR on them but they're not brushless. Keep that in mind when you're going to look at these and if that is important to you, you better pay attention. Most of them, most of the ones I have are brushless. My impact's brushless. My drill is definitely brushless. Someday I'll put drawer faces on these here. Comes with the angle grinder, the oscillating tool. I know DeWalt. I know the battery system. And that's what you're really looking at is the battery platform. What tools can these batteries go in? The next item, pretty excited about. It is the Craig jig. This is my Craig jig. It's been modified a little bit. I got the, the dust port collector over here. I made this little stand so that I can put larger sheets of plywood in there. I will be using this a lot, a lot in upcoming videos in December. You go out and get one and you want to know what you can build with it, subscribe, click the bell. You're going to see a lot of things built with this Craig jig in December. So I was in Home Depot today and I saw this exact tool chest. It's $398. I know that's pretty steep, 400 bucks. Now I own two of them and I purchased them both on Black Friday. I know this Black Friday ad says it's three, that it's $348. It's been at least two years since I bought one. And I want to say that it was a full 50% off on like a doorbuster deal the morning of Black Friday. I think I only paid like $199 for these tool chests. And I bought them, uh, God, the first one I bought was maybe six years ago, seven years ago. And then the, the, the most recent one I bought was two years ago. I had them mounted in my tool trailer and it, it's worked out pretty good. I don't know if I would recommend someone put them in a tool trailer, but for a garage or a shop, if they are that 50% discount, if you can get them for $199, they will definitely be worth it. Keep in mind, I have towed mine around thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles fully loaded overloaded you know sometimes I forget to lock it and I go on a corner and the drawers will come smashing out I got to rebuild the drawer slides in one of the top drawers uh, well when I get around to it and it would be the second time I did it one time I had a ladder fall onto the shelf but if you use it correctly not like I do it's a great deal if it's at that 50% markdown at like $199, $195. So this aluminum folding bench, little mini scaffolding, is the one I personally own. It's the same price that's at Lowe's, but there's a 300 pound load capacity on this one as opposed to Lowe's 250 pound capacity. I don't think you're gonna go wrong with either one, but if you had a choice, or if you're going to, you know, trying to pick whether I'm going to Lowe's or Home Depot for Black Friday, they did not run out of these two years ago. It had to be two years ago. I'll I'll try to put some links in the description below of videos where I'm using these tools. This one in particular, I used in a large soffit and fascia job. Now the last one I did not see on their flyer, and actually I've got two. One's one's in the house, but I'm going to pull this one out of my pocket. You ready? It is. A headlamp. I really, really like this headlamp. I bought a bunch of these last year and gave them out as gifts. It's a coast headlamp. And the cool part of it is the beam is focusable. You can put it down real tight or go out like a flood. 
this year, they already have them out there. I think they're $20, but they go down half price. So they have gone down half price in years past. The only changes are, I think it's it's orange and I think it's orange now. I don't know if Home Depot bought them out or, or what. And instead of a red and a green light, both of them light up red. And that's for like night vision. In case you don't know, why why would I want a red light? It doesn't affect your night vision. I mean, I used to use a red light on the sailboat a lot so that I wouldn't lose my night vision. Like if I needed to get down into something or get a tool out of a toolbox, I would use a red light as opposed to a white light so that my night vision wouldn't get disrupted. The, the focusable beam, and it's pretty powerful. It's very powerful. They also have flashlights, and I've got one of them too. That's one it's, it's in the house. They will be on sale also. I don't know why it's not in their, on their flyer. I still think they got, a little, they got some, uh, some tricks up their sleeve for Friday morning. That's the end of this video. I don't have any links. Don't know affiliate links. These are all things that you can just go straight to the store and buy. It's late. It's probably 1 o'clock in the morning. And i got to edit this and have it ready for tomorrow. Those of you who are waiting around for the bonus, 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 bonus footage. Obviously, there's no floor video today. Um, the floor video is done, but it's being reserved for a different day. Should I put it out on that day? Fridays are my worst day. Actually, Friday, this Friday, Black Friday, should be have extremely high ad rate. So it's going to be out Friday. The, the the last installment, the last episode of the last episode of the hardwood floor job. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell, and you can you can see how it came out. I already know how it came out, and it came out ridiculous, ridiculously amazing. Literally almost brought them to tears when they came home. Actually, it almost brought them to tears, and it was I just had the seal coat on. I didn't I hadn't even buffed it and and put the the top coat on just the seal coat they were just so moved they could not believe that that floor was under that nasty mess goodbye